Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. Uh, we're talking about your love life first, and then we're going to deal with other areas of your life, okay? Um, love life. Um, let me talk about this. So this is the energy that you're bringing to the table here. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles usually indicate some type of a committed relationship that might have ended very recently in your life. This is marriage, long-term committed relationship. And um, I feel for many of you, you're, you have um, emerge from this state where you might have been in a long-term commitment with somebody and you were working towards building a relationship with them but for whatever reason um, energetically between you and them it seems like whatever you both try to build whatever you both um, try to do to stabilize the relationship it really wasn't working it could be you know one person putting in all the work and then the other person takes it for granted or you both are not on the same page when it comes to your career long-term aspirations and as a result of it, you might have um, gone your separate ways. Things might have fallen apart. And a marriage as well might have recently ended for many of you. And if you're still in a relationship right now, I feel almost like it's on its way out. It's coming to an inevitable end and you are accepting of this fact or some of you are actively you know going through the process of um, separating yourself or dividing up assets you might have uh, recently gotten divorced or separated and now you're at the tail end of just divvying up your assets so that you both can energetically be free from one another um, I feel like yes there is sadness and remorse associated with this union uh, and you might have taken a lot of time and a lot of you know just um, I, I want to say like internalizing this energy and saying was it my fault did I do everything I possibly could in this relationship to make it work and then the partner that you're dealing with as well this is a card about sadness and regrets but when it's in the reverse it's almost like emerging from this state no longer feeling victimized no longer feeling like it was all about them or it was all their fault or it was all my fault this is coming to a truce that maybe energetically you and the other person were not on the same page it might have been the wrong timing or emotionally they might not have been mature enough or you might not have been mature enough to handle the conflict in the relationship hence um, creating that breakdown in the relationship but in the reverse position the five of cups basically means taking stock of what we have learning from past trials and tribulations and then growing and emerging from it so coming into a state of more tranquility and more like acceptance that maybe this wasn't you know meant for you and so you're looking elsewhere I feel for many of you Sagittarius single um, what you have come to realize is that you've wasted a lot of time um, trying to fit something trying to make something work and wasting a lot of time wasting a lot of energy um, and not realizing that you know the other person might not have been right for you and then wasting a lot of time and energy talking to yourself or telling yourself that um, that ultimately what you were trying to build up was going to be you know long term and 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 the f happily ever after but then realizing that you might have put a lot of expectations on yourself and then on the other person. And when we try to force things, things don't come the way that we want. If it's meant to be energetically, it should, you know, um, gr things should gravitate towards each other. So if it's you and the other person, if it's meant to be, things will flow very, very smoothly. Things will, it won't always be, you know, uh, rainbow and unicorns, but at least energetically, you're not going to feel like you're fighting against the tides. So you have come into this sense of renewal where some of you are single and you're just like, I'm just going to be single. I'm just going to be happy. I'm going to, you know, go do my own thing. If love happens to come in at this moment in time, great. If not, I'm not going to force it. I'm going to relinquish control. I'm going to enjoy the moment. I'm going to enjoy new opportunities that come into me. I'm going to find personal enjoyment in my work, in my creative endeavors, in other things that I have going on in my life and not put so much stock forcing a relationship to come together or forcing a relationship to work when it's not meant to be. 
Many of you are substituting, you know, that love, that commitment, and finding joy in your professional success, okay? This is a card where you are also very visible to the world. Some of you might be online dating or putting yourself out there and, you know, casting your net or, you know, like just energetically enjoying the single life and enjoying the, the process of dating, enjoying as well. If it's going to come in, great. If not, I'm okay being on my own because I have a lot of other things that are going for me and um, I'm feeling hopeful again. So it, it's it's almost like this relationship here really left a bitter taste in your mouth and i feel like you might have been dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and for that earth sign between you and that earth sign no matter how much effort you put in they just um corroded your effort you might have been dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio sun moon and rising and this person has like a woe is me type of victim mentality they don't really take ownership for the things that go wrong in their lives and they might be a little bit more on the somber end they might have drinking issues they might also just you know um they're not they don't have that stick to itiveness the way that you do and they don't really know how to move their life a, a, along and i feel like there has been energetically like this past relationship it feels like it really was a big drain on your energy and your financial um, stability as well. Okay, so if that sounds familiar to you, I feel like you're moving away from it or you have moved away from it and you're in a space where you are on your own and you're not really um, putting all your eggs in one basket or not putting um, hopes into the fact that, oh, they're going to come back or we're going to reconcile. You're happy here and you're content and you're on your own. Um, I've done the reading for, you know, the past two weeks for you guys and you guys have really, really good cards. So I feel like you're turning over a new leaf. You're turning over a new page in your life. And a lot of it was, um, it's contingent upon you exhibiting the energy that you're carefree and happy and optimistic and you're single and you're okay with that. And that's the best place to be, to be content and to live in the moment and, you know, not um, have like certain expectations that, you know, this is the one or that's the one. So um, letting go and just enjoying, you know, the, the singlehood, I feel like that's what's really going to attract people towards you. Um, I have here a person that you might be romantically interested in. With the Nine of Cups, as well as the King of Swords, this is somebody that makes you feel really, 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 really happy. You're excited to wake up, you know, next to. You're excited to start your day with this person. You're excited to, you know, um, to, it's, it's like this really hopeful energy where you want to see them. You're happy with waking up really early to, you know, um, start the day with them or to be able to run into them to be able to talk to them be able to communicate with them in some way and I have an air sign so this is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra Sun Moon or Rising this is somebody who's very truthful very honest a little bit more on the colder end so they're not like you know completely warm and cuddly they might be a little bit prickly they're very witty they solve problems this is a um, status what is that this is not the statistician um i was thinking about the person that um troubleshoots works behind the scenes to kind of like repair things and it's a it's a person a fixer like somebody that takes care of problems for other people they're very very good at troubleshooting they're very dependable they're not warm and uh cuddly but i feel as if they're opening up to you and you know Sagittarius your energy a lot of the times you're very childlike and uh, you exude a lot of enthusiasm whatever you do um, you're very enthusiastic you're very like um, your energy is very open and because you're operating at this frequency too you're attracting somebody that you know they're a little bit more emotionally closed off but when they they're around you they feel really really happy they make you feel also very happy. So it's a very nice exchange of energy. It's almost like I am seeing this uh, rainbow here. Um, because you have this childlike innocence, they don't feel like you come in with ulterior motives and they're willing to put their guard down and they don't feel like they need to, you know, prove themselves when they're around you because, you know, you guys don't judge. 
you guys are very, you know, devil may care, uh, live and let live. And, you know, I do my thing, you do yours. So I feel like this is um, potentially a relationship partner that you're dealing with who makes you very happy and you both are just very elated and, and just um, um, the energy exchanges is pretty amazing. And this is also somebody, you know, they, they, they're critical. They're a little bit nitpicky and, you know, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to, going to clarify some cards here. But I feel very, very strongly there's somebody that you might be crushing on, somebody that has a crush on you. So how does, which direction is this flowing? They might have recently left a person as well. They're purging a lot of negativity, negative things in their own lives. And I feel like they see you as a very, you know, good breath of fresh air and they want to pursue this relationship. So I feel as if you've gone through your own, um, you know, battling your own demons. They have recently, um, maybe a divorcee, somebody that has their own emotional baggage that they're trying to overcome. And as a result of it, I feel like, yes, the energy exchange is really, really strong, but both parties are not really making the moves towards one another because both parties might not be ready or both parties feel like they don't want to get bogged down into another heavy emotional relationship and you know ruin a good thing or ruin this attraction or it's too early too soon okay so i feel like you you are trying to accelerate some energy but you're at the same time quite happy and content being on your own so if it comes great if not i'm just going to you know enjoy this moment so that's really good energy that you're embodying. I feel like this is a very strong soulmate type of a connection. This is kind of like two people having a big sense of responsibility towards one another and wanting to kind of like be there for your partner through thick and thin. I have as well the Ten of Wands, which is like overcoming challenges in the relationship and also making a gesture, opening yourselves up and having, you know, communication that is a lot more responsible, that is a lot more a lot less about who's right and who's wrong, but more about, you know, let's get work done. Let's make each other happy. So I feel like somebody's really, you're either crushing on someone, they're crushing on you, or somebody's really um, rocking your, your world for this week. And I've, I've been feeling it for the past um, few weeks. So good for you guys. Um, on other, let's move on to the other areas of your life. Okay. So first of all, we have here the magician in the reverse. This is coming in as spiritual advice for you guys. And the reason I say that, um, the magician is somebody who's learning, who's, um, who's like looking at or sorting through all the information that is in front of them. And they're trying to make all the pieces fit together. And they're also trying to synthesize knowledge, analyze knowledge, write down knowledge, retain information. It's a card about mastering, um, you know, a certain skill, mastering a certain craft, learning, by trial and error as well and we have as well the star and the star is a state where you know you're going through a lot of healing a lot of purging of yourself and uh, i feel like you're letting uh, go of a lot of negative things and you're starting a new phase where you're probably training you're learning something in a work environment you're also learning from other people so some of you might be in the medical profession here with the star it deals so much with healing. So I feel like, you know, a lot of nurses, people going back to school possibly, or people that are in the helping profession where they're giving away a lot of knowledge to their clients, their applicants, or um, customers, or whatever capacity you're working in. And I feel like you're very enthusiastic about learning new things, but it's telling you to slow down and make sure you've got, you know, all the knowledge, all the pieces in, of information that you need before you jump the gun. And, you know, Sagittarius, you're very big picture oriented. Your sign, it's just like um, working with big ideas and big picture is very easy for you. But when it comes to the nitty gritty details, you don't have the patience to, you know, sit there and tediously sift through all the little technicalities to make sure that everything is, you know, as it should be. So I, I feel like you're, 
you're going to be jumping the gun. You're going to be possibly making the wrong assessment or headed in the wrong direction in terms of a course of action, in terms of, you know, finishing projects and things like that. So you might as well be pressed for time, um, juggling, you know, two jobs, two responsibilities and kind of uh, running yourself ragged. So the important thing is, you know, focusing on self-care, and also, if you're working on multiple projects, make sure that you kind of slow down, review and proofread everything rather than rushing ahead and, you know, headed like making mistakes or taking on a, an idea or, or, you know, taking a stance on something and it's built on a faulty analysis. Okay, so the magician is somebody who is uh, who forms ideas and I feel it's in the reverse. So you're seeing something not as it should, but you're seeing it in a very idealistic way, the way that you think it should be. And so you run away with that train of thoughts when that train of thoughts might not be reality. Um, managing your financial situation as well. I see many of you um, tap, um, pasting together multiple jobs in order to make ends meet. And I feel as well, you know, um, it might come at, on the heels of a divorce and you're starting over and I feel like you are also looking at two potential income revenue streams or two jobs that you're choosing between so that's coming through as well I feel like this is a week for you to kind of like let all the future stuff kind of um, dissipate and focus on the present moment focus on what you have to do what you have to learn focus as well on taking better care of your health and then once you're ready to make that, you know, change in your life, either financially or once you feel com com more comfortable and more confident about a specific course of action, that's when you take those steps. OK, so good week overall to slow down so that you don't make mistakes. Be careful driving, um, commuting and, you know, speeding. Be very careful about that. And then I also feel like some of you, I, I see this like really stiff pain in my neck. Like I, I feel it and it's like inflamed. So getting yourself, you know, some type of um, either working out, doing a little bit more lifting, uh, like lifting weight so that you can strengthen your upper body. And then I also feel it's, it's almost like your lower body, your legs and things like that. You're constantly on the move. So you're quite healthy but in terms of your arms neck and you know um, upper areas I, I feel like it needs to you need to exercise that a little bit more to kind of balance you out but at the same time um, getting you know some massage therapy I feel like that's going to be very good for you and your overall emotional mental and physical well-being okay so I hope the reading is helpful Sagittarius take care okay I'll see you next week